A and B are positive integers and A over B squared equal to A minus B, find the value of A and B. Okay, when we want to solve this problem, let's rewrite the main equation A over 2 divided by B squared, A squared divided by B squared equal to A minus B. I write it like fraction, I can say A over B. A squared over B squared equal to A minus B. From power rule, I know that A over B to the M equal to A to the M over B to the M. So I can use it here. I can say A over B squared equal to A minus B. The problem says A and B are positive integers. So I can say A minus B is also an integer. Because a minus b is integer, right hand side, so left hand side is also integer. So we conclude a over b squared is integer. We know that a and b are also positive integers. So the only case is that when a over b squared is integer, a over b has to be integer. Why? Because a and b are integer. So it is a rational number a over b and the only case is a over b should be integer so a over b should be q that q is integer and we can write a has to be equal to b q now i can rewrite the main equation and replace a with b q if i want to write exactly this equation let me call this star and then combine that a equal to bq so instead of a i replace a with bq over b squared equal to a is bq minus b i've replaced a bq in this equation star now i cancel b and b b is positive integer i cancel it so left hand side is q squared, right hand side is bq minus b. I can factor b from right hand side, it will be q minus 1. Now, we have an important rule. It says q and q minus 1 don't have any common factor. We know q is at least 1 here positive integer because a is positive integer from assumption and b also positive integer so q is positive integer we know here q is not one because if q be one left hand side is one right hand side will be b times zero zero contradiction so q is at least two and we know if q has at least two q and q minus one don't have any common factor any common factor greater than one okay so we conclude the maximum common factor is one highest common factor or gcd greatest common device so q minus one and when q minus one because there are consecutive numbers and at the end of the video i will prove it for you if you want so um, we say q minus 1 and q don't have any common factor it is q squared so q minus 1 and q squared also don't have any common factor so the only case for q minus 1 should be 1 because if q minus 1 for example be equal to 3 then we need 3 here on left hand side but we know q and q minus 1 don't have any common factor like 3 so the only possible case for q minus 1 is that it should be 1. Now we conclude q minus 1 has to be 1. So q will be what? 2. Here, if I call this double star, from double star, we've concluded that a equal to bq, which q is 2, and a equal to 2b. Okay, let's erase the things we don't need. Okay, so we've concluded a equal to 2b, and from assumption a over b squared equal to a minus b. If I replace a with 2b, the left hand side 
will be 2b over b squared equal to 2b minus b. b and b will be canceled. Left hand side will be 4. And right hand side is 2b minus b which equal to b. So b is 4. And because a equal to 2b because of this part, we can conclude a equals 2 times 4 which is 8. Now we should check is our last answer correct? So if you want to check in our main equation, I know a squared over b squared, I want to see is it equal to a minus b? Let's check. a is 8, so 64 a squared over b is 4, 4 squared 16. Is it equal to 8 minus 4? You know, 64 over 16 is 4, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So it is correct, and also it is correct. So we've solved this problem, but I want to prove one thing during the solution. I said we proved this. And it was y GCD or highest common factor of q and q minus 1 equal to 1. I will prove this and let me tell you. Before proving this, there are around 40 50 important ideas in each topic useful in Olympiad exam and other math exams. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments also. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. And if you had other solutions, comment below this video. I will prove GCD of Q and Q minus 1 equal to 1. And after that, I will write one homework for you. So let's prove GCD of Q and Q minus 1. It is always, it has to be positive. We want to prove why it is 1. I say, okay. Suppose GCD of Q and Q minus 1 is D. I want to prove D is 1. We know from definition of GCD, it has to be positive. For example, look, GCD of negative 2 and negative 4 is not negative 2, it's 2. By the definition, it doesn't have reason. They define. So, we know that Q is multiple of GCD because greatest common divisor. D is divisor of Q. So, Q is D, T. Q minus 1 also divisor. D is divisor of Q minus 1 by the definition. So it will be D times, for example, W. If we subtract Q minus, Q minus 1 is 1, it is equal to D T minus D W, which is equal to D T minus W. And we know D is positive. So D times something, both of them are integer. Two integer numbers. Their product is 1. So because D is positive, the only case for D is D has to be 1. And we proved that their GCD is 1. Also, you can prove it with divisibility. It's solution number 1. The students that know divisibility, you can say D divides Q, D divides Q minus 1, D divides the difference, D divides 1, and D has to be 1. The students that know this symbol, this sign, divides divisibility, they can use this. And because D is positive, you can say, D is 1. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.